uh, bioenergy, can it scale? Is it clean? Is it financially viable? The first thing that we need to know about bioenergy, the first thing we need to know about uh, green plants is that green plants are solar plants, right? What green plants do is take the sunshine and transform that together with other things, water and, 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 and land and fertilizers, and they transform that into biomass, which is a form of energy. And then we change that biomass into a, a form of energy that we can use, whether that's ethanol or whatever. Um, so if you look at it that way, uh, let's look at one of the most successful, quote unquote, forms of um, bioenergy out there, which is sugarcane. And sugarcane transforms 0.38% of the sunshine into biomass. So far, so good? So 0.38% of the sun is transformed into biomass. And if you change that to ethanol, the transformation is 0.13%. That's how much of the sun is transformed into bioenergy. Let's compare this with solar photovoltaics, which at today's conversion is 14%, which is 100 times more efficient than bioenergy. And if we use other types of solar uh, uh, conversion, CSP, concentrating solar power, we're talking about two to 300 times more efficient in processing the sun than green plants are. Just the fact that green plants only transform 0.1%, 0.2%, makes them not scalable, makes them not financially viable in the long term, just because of that, because the physics of it have limits, because the photosynthesis process has limits, okay? So that's a problem with bioenergy. Um, but wait, there's more. Biodiesel. The example that I'm using is Jatropa, which is one of the most popular forms of uh, biodiesel seeds out there. It takes 19,000 gallons of water to produce one gallon of Jatropa, of, of biodiesel. Now, it means that to fill up your car, you're using 200 thousand gallons of water. Think about that for a second. There is no planet in this universe where that much water going into energy is sustainable. It, it's not going to happen, right? Especially since we're already in a water crisis in most of the world. So in fact, we're cutting back on the use of water, not adding to the use of water. So that makes bioenergy a tough proposition for financial and scalability purposes. Let me move to nuclear.